This round is called, if this is the answer, what is the question on the board of six categories? Joe, which one would you like? Home news, please. OK, your category is home news. The answer is ten minutes. What is the question? Uh, ten minutes. Is that sobering up time for a budget airline pilot? <laughs> is, it, is it... How much of 2006 can Pete Doherty remember? Yeah. <laughs> Is it, what, is the life expectancy of an Iraqi greengrocer? <laughs> so what's the maximum length of time a man can tread water once he's been handed a hippo? <laughs> <laughs> that another no, though. No, I'm wrong with it. What kind of, like, you know, swimming lessons were you brought to? Yeah, you're doing good, you're doing very good. Now, bring in the hippo! Bring in the hippo! <laughs> yeah. uh, 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 is it something to do with education? Is it what do most kids think quarter of an hour is? <laughs> I know the answer. It, it is something to do vaguely with education. Oh, it's, it? it's how long are new lessons going to be? How long are some new lessons yeah, going to be? Yeah, Mandarin specifically. Sure. Yes, it is. Absolutely. Very well, well done, Russell Howard. Yeah. Very good. Yeah. The question I was looking for is how long might some lessons now last under proposed secondary school reforms? These are the radical proposals from the Qualifications and Curriculum Authority to combat pupil disaffection by revolutionising school timetables and teaching methods. Do they really care about pupil disaffection? Well, you know, is there any know, generation that didn't have no. people like this? Do you uh, know, at school, school? At school you, I mean, working towards excellence does depend on the pupils, but we had a, you know, we had a bloke at my school who, when they marked A-levels, he used to get A, B, C, D, E, O, F. Those were the grades, right? The first time, he took his A-levels twice. The first time round... How did round, you get an O before the F? Well, because it was an O-level pass and then a fail. So you but the first time round, he got two O's and an F. He retook them, he got two F's and an O. And he was delighted because he could spell ooh f off <laughs> with his A level result. But it's amazing. See, that's, that's the that's kind all... of kids you're working but with. But that's all you do at school. We, used to, we had a maths teacher called Mr. Winter and he had a comb over, right? And we used to play a game called Tilt the Wig. And the, the, aim, the aim was to get him so angry that his hair would flap down by the one side. <laughs> and you cannot get told off by a grown man whose hair is flapping to. <laughs> It's the most fun. It's like when you go 10-pin bowling with your mates and they go and get a drink and you fiddle with their name. They come back, they bowl, they get a strike, they turn to celebrate, and above them in flashing letters it just says, I touch kids. It's that, <laughs> that level of giddy joy, you know? <laughs> totally oblivious to the fact that... This is part of the new proposals, isn't it, that they have things like 10-minute classes to shake up education <laughs> and they have uh, the combined subjects and stuff like that. It is, genu it is genuinely a proposal that you would get different teachers yeah. to add it. And the one suggested by the man from the Qualifications and Curriculum Advisory Board, whatever it is, uh, was that perhaps the PE teacher could come around and tell you about great historical example of sporting figures and their leadership. Which is could there be a, a worse idea? Could, I mean, you're sitting there as a history teacher trying to tell people about life in the trenches in the First World War, a guy comes in in a tracksuit yeah. and starts going on about the life of Graham Souness. <laughs> <laughs> I think they combine religious education and biology, so then you'll know uh, where babies come from, but you'll also know it's a sin and dirty and bad. <laughs> <laughs> the, other, the other suggestion was... <laughs> to be a terrific they, juxtaposition. One of the <laughs> examples was anatomy, where you could have your science teacher and your PE teacher giving the lesson together. The danger then, isn't it, if you forget your Bunsen burner, you know, you may have to do the whole lesson in your pants. <laughs> <laughs> The whole scheme seems to be, what else can we get the PE teacher to do? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and they're not also introducing new... They're trying to introduce new things, like you can do archery and skateboarding, apparently, in school. <laughs> and what's yeah. going to happen there is you're just going to get a whole new type of drive-by shooting. <laughs> 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 Mothers yeah, of gang members <laughs> pleading for quivers to be taken <laughs> off the streets. <laughs> it is. Uh, you'll be, but you surely be able to hear the roll, pat, roll, <laughs> pat. Uh, <laughs> oh my God, quick, yeah. duck, yeah. everything. Yeah. <laughs> there was an example given actually of, the, of, the, of many of the new sports, and they, they suggested uh, skateboarding and golf. As if there's, yeah. you know, in a Venn diagram, just to bring maths into this, a Venn diagram <laughs> that includes kids who skateboard and kids who play golf. There was no intersection there at all. <laughs> I was thinking you were saying it was skateboarding while golfing. No, no, like, no. Like, no. that's, sort of, that's brilliant. That's like sort of council house polo. That's a fantastic <laughs> idea, isn't it? <laughs> Was about... All these new sports are because Blair, Blair thinks our kids are too fat. Uh, you know, that way they, they eat too much sugar and too much salt and too much fat and stuff. And, and I read a really frightening thing the other day, that if you leave a fat kid in a glass of coke overnight... <laughs> 
<laughs> you can finish that one off yourself. Too, <laughs> <don't> you? <laughs> <laughs> well, their, their proposal for fat kids at school is that they give them dance lessons. They're not going to have the concentration for that, are they? Everybody do the mashed potato. Ooh, mashed potato! <laughs> <laughs> the thing is, if they're saying, oh, well, how do, how do we get children to learn? Make them. Yes. Make them learn. <laughs> Combine algebra with a beating. <laughs> you know. A lot of the new subject is just designed to make parents feel even more stupid, isn't it? Oh, yeah, it's it'd like, be great. You too. know, can you help me with my Mandarin homework? Oh, yes, dear. It's like a small orange, a bit like a satsuna. <laughs> <laughs>